Hello students, this is Veena, Assistant Professor in the Department of English, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. Today, we are going to talk about oral presentation requires a good planning. For the topic for today is how important is the oral presentation and why is that good planning is very very important in the way of your oral uh, presentation. That is, before we do presentations, it is very, very essential to remember some of the most important elements and the characteristics such that we reach our audience. While presenting your oral presentations, you require good planning, good organization of the ideas and the message, whatever you want to display in front of your audience. Now, what kind of planning and what is the criteria and what are those elements which will make our oral presentation effective and also qualitative. As future engineers, you all have to present various projects. You have to present your designs, your ideas and your innovations through, you, through the oral presentation. Now, how is that you are going to make your oral presentation effective? and also qualitative depends on the good planning what you do before you go, go to present the presentation. Now, let us try to understand what are those general elements and the characteristics which involve in the good planning such that we make oral presentation a successful thing. Let us get started here. Now, what is this oral presentation? How can we dis define oral presentation? What is the necessity of this presentation in the way of your communication? How is that you will be a successful person in presenting your ideas, your innovations to the world? Let us see now. Oral presentations are one of the most common assignments in college courses, isn't it? We have the presentations as your assignments. We develop those assignments such that we want you to have good practice over these presentations and they will be helpful to you in your professional careers. Scholars, professionals and students in all the fields desire to disseminate the knowledge they produce. Isn't it? Whatever the knowledge I have, it will be expanded only when I am sharing it with others. Isn't it? When I talk to my friends, I will interpret and also discuss the different phenomena of one particular topic. So, when it comes to professionals, the scholars and also you students, your knowledge will be expanded only when you discuss, when you communicate, when you share your ideas and when you present your ideas in front of others. Now, this is often accomplished by delivering oral presentations in class, at conferences, public lectures or in company meetings. How is that happen? I have so many innovative ideas. Now, I need a platform where I can project myself, where I can stand and make myself uh, uh, clear to the audience about my innovative ideas. I am describing them. I am telling them the different elements and the different scope around the topic which I am going to present in front of them. So, that platform could be your school, your office, wherever you are trying to put forward yourself and make a stability over your profession. Therefore, learning to deliver effective presentations, learning to deliver effective presentations is a necessary skill to master both the, at the college and for the endeavors. So, this is the first and foremost platform where you have to mould yourself to understand the important criteria of these presentations. You must be able to actively participate and also involve in fulfilling all the assignments which will make you good expertise over the oral presentations that which will be very very helpful to you in the workspace. Remember 
oral presentations the verbal com communication is very very important it will pave path towards projecting your personality in front of others your attitude in front of others your way of thinking process in front of others if you could master over that if you can present everything in a very good and effective manner you will be excelling in this content and also you will be able to grow yourself in the professional arenas now oral presentations typically involve the important steps three important steps one planning yes that which we are going to understand in detail today planning is the very very important element in the oral presentations you cannot just go and give a, a instant presentation without any planning because at one or the other place you will be stuck up you will not be able to understand what to talk how to deliver how to answer how to address the audience so there must be proper planning before you get on to the stage then practicing then planning will be followed with practicing it's not just the planning but practicing in well advance your presentation is also one of the important step in the oral presentations then presenting so before presenting you have to have good planning and also good practicing of your presentation beforehand and have awareness over all the aspects which you are going to talk about in your presentation such that your uh, reflection your awareness about the topic will provide that scope to face the audience that will develop the dev, uh, a confidence in you to address the audience as well as to answer the audience now planning what is this planning how is that it is going to help us in making understand the things clear and also what are those aspects which will help us to present our uh, speech in a very good communicative and effective manner oral presentations require a good deal of planning scholars estimate that approximately 50% of all mistakes in oral presentation actually occur in the planning stage that is why do we commit mistakes during our presentation it is because we ha we have lacked in planning process 50% the mistakes the errors what we do occur due to the planning process which we have not done correctly or effectively where you you have not spent much time and planning you have just, just instantly took up the topic and just prepared and have come to present it but where is the planning how is that you have planned what is the logical sequence of the elements which you are going to present in front of your audience all these are very very important and crucial now make sure to address the following issues so these are the important issues which you will address while you are doing a good planning let us try to understand each of them in detail remember it is very very important aspect for you all to integrate all these points while you are going to present a oral presentation because it is only when you are following all these things your presentation will reach the heights of success and also will reach its audience effectively now point 1 focus your presentation on the audience very very important one focus your presentation on the audience know your audience who are your audience are they going to be scholars professionals or your faculty or your friends or is it an informal uh, talk or is it a formal talk isn't it so you must be able to estimate who are going to listen to your speech 
then only according to the needs according to their uh, level you have to plan your presentation if you are going to address someone who is very very intellectual and also someone who is very professional and have all the knowledge over the talk which you are going to present then you have to be very very cautious enough and also you must have all those relevant proofs to prove your talk isn't it because they know it they can easily see that whether whatever you are talking is right or wrong so estimate your audience know your audience what kind of audience you are going to face and how is that they are going to get pleased with you see that you have to create interest in the audience you have to please the audience and also you have to create that zeal that tinge of their complete attention towards you while you are presenting the presentation now your presentation is not about how much you can say but you how much your audience can understand isn't it is is it important that you are going to talk two papers or four papers or you are going to give a long lecture of half an hour or one hour or whatever it may be how much you talk is not important how much audience is able to understand is very important how much your idea has reached to what extent to what percentage are you successful in making the audience understand the message which you are delivering there that is the most important aspect which you all have to remember now organize your information point 2 what is the thing you must be able to organize the information in the logical sequence and in the stepwise manner why because when you are presenting your presentation it should not look clumsier it should look effective and also clear it must be brief and concise to reach the audience so see that you use simple language see that your sentences are clear and they are properly structured and they are organized in a very logical order such that every point every aspect what is that you are going to speak out will reach your audience perfectly and accurately now point 3 build reputation now first we try to understand our audience second point we are making the logical sequencing the organization of our content and then reputation build reputation listening is much different than reading isn't it your audience cannot go back and read over something they missed or did not understand isn't it we are not reading we are going to give a speech such that someone is going to listen to us if you if they do not understand it is not that you can turn back and they can listen to you once again that's not possible while reading book it's possible but while listening it's not possible so see that there is no scope of the repetition for the audience however you are presenting your paper see that it fetches the clarity over the information what you are giving to them so for that you have to build the repetition of the key points in your oral presentation now and then see that you are repeating the key points and also making them understand that these key points are crucial in all these levels and they are interrelated with each other such that you can develop the interest of your audience into your speech so remember these three important effective points now what is this introduction how is that you are going to introduce your topic to your audience in what way you are going to introduce and what are the elements now introduce yourself if needed if you are a known person if everyone know that you are the speaker for that day maybe you need not 
only when it is needed that you have to introduce and if you are in a new place new platform and the people doesn't know you it is mandatory for you to make your introduction clear but if it is not so it is avoidable next providing your affiliation and or credibility that is if it is needed only you are going to provide the major important aspects which one has to know about you your expertise over something must be known to the audience only when it is needed then create an effective opening remember this this is very important you cannot just go stand on the stage and just start giving your speech it does not look appealing or interesting so what is that we are going to do we are going to prepare for an effective opening maybe a slight conversation with your audience or breaking the ice with a small uh, note or with a humor or something if it is completely professional see that you add something which will attract your audience which they are interested in so instead of directly going and starting your message try to prepare an effective opening during your presentation that will instantly grasp the attention of the audience and they will tend to listen towards you so this is very very important now opening that will interest your audience pose a question what you can do you can pose a question give an amazing fact you can talk about something which is really amazing that is that which is related to that particular context or time then or tell a short interesting story or start with a small narrative story which is interested and also which is related to that particular content or the topic of the day so in these three ways you can make an effective opening of your oral presentation then reveal your topic to the audience so your effective opening should be the path to reveal your topic for that day that looks very interesting the audience will guess your topic through the effective opening what you have put forward in front of them see how good it will look isn't it instead of you just going standing there and just saying the topic and then starting the speech you could create that interest and that vibe around the audience with an effective note and making that note towards the path of guessing your topic for the day and that will look as if it is professional speech you are practiced you are organized all these abilities will be reflecting in that particular time so good practice good planning will fetch you to get mastery over all these aspects now give a brief outline of the major points you will cover in your presentation now just don't go on talk about the speech first give a brief introduction of your topic and just tell about some key points which you are going to discuss on that but in that particular presentation what is what is that you are going to discuss and maybe you can also mention what is the time span which you are going to talk about each of the element so general abstract of your speech can be given to the audience before you begin your presentation then come to main body we have introduced effectively with a narrative story we have asked our audience to guess what is the topic and also we have given an abstract of our speech what is that you are going to talk how is that you are going to talk and what are the essentials which are element in that talk then getting into the main body the main content of your presentation here plan for this you have to plan here very very importantly the logical sequence of the points the order and the organization of the points and the pauses and the gaps which you take in between to make the interaction with the audience all these 
planning must be done when it comes to your main body. Here, explain your points. One, explain all your points in detail with relevant proofs and evidences. Give clear explanations. Provide sufficient evidence to be the to convince. So, you are completely giving good clear explanation with all the relevant evidences. And if there is a statistical data, you can present that too. To impress the audience, to please the audience that whatever you are talking, for, for that you have explored so much. You have made so much of research to come on to the conclusion of this particular statistic. So, it is very important. Next, use transitions between sections of your presentation. That is, introduction, body and conclusion. Take some transition as well as between points in your body section. The writing studio's handout on roadmaps provides great explanation to create signal, signposts. That means transition is the slides or any kind of gesture, the movements, the way you give the examples. All these things in between your connection of one idea to the other. Then use analogies and stories. You can use good stories which are relevant to the topic. You can use analogies to explain complicated ideas. If they could not understand an idea which is very complex and complicated, you can add some analogies. You can explain some uh, stories such that they understand this complex element at that particular moment. Next, conclusion. Here with a good presentation of the beginning and the clear, apt and detailed presentation of the main body. How is that you are going to conclude? Point 1. Signal your conclusion with a transition. That is, you will be giving a sign or a post to indicate that you have almost reached to the end of the oral presentation and they can be ready with the questions which they really want to ask you for any doubts or any interactive section. So, you must be hinting them with some or the other transition to make them understand that you are moving towards the conclusion. You are closing up that presentation for the day, isn't it? Then, Summarize your points. Try to summarize all the key points which you have spoke in the oral presentation. One by one. Logically, you will going to represent the summary of your context of the topic which you have spoken. Then, refer to future action if needed. If the topic needs some future action, you will be referring that also. Then, end with thank you. If answering questions, tell your audience, I'll be now be happy to answer your questions. If you feel there should be some interaction, you must know whether audience have understood or not. If you are ready to take the questions, you can say thank you and also you can happily say that I'm ready to take your questions and answer your questions. So, such should be your planning, your practicing, organizing and conclusion of your oral presentation. Then, practicing. Now, how is this practicing element will be carried? How is that you are going to practice? What are the elements you will make integrated into your ideology to practice the oral presentation? Now, practicing your presentation is essential. Very, very important. It at this stage, figure out word and phrases emphasis. Why is that you are going to practice it? You already made a complete uh, um, uh, script of whatever you are going to talk. You have made good research over the elements and the information. Then why is that you are going to practice? To practice, to reduce that unnecessary content and also to understand yourself. To make yourself aware about what is that you are going to talk. You are going to practice. Now. Record your presentation and review in order to know how you sound. You yourself can record your presentation while practicing and you can 
listen to yourself how the presentation could be how you go you can make it more better what could be the errors which you are making while presenting and how is that you can avoid those errors in the way of presentation so practicing will help here then considering using different colored highlight nerds to remind yourself when to pause so this is one small tip which you all can remember if you want to take pauses in between your speech your presentation you can use different colors of highlight nerds for making yourself aware to take a pause there in between such that it will be easy for you it will not be clumsy and your talk will not be lengthier then practice in front of peers and elicit feedback you have to practice in front of your friends or the peer groups or the friends because everyone will have a different perspective maybe for you it is looking very good but if somebody else is listening to your presentation they may recognize some errors or they may have some suggestion such that an audience will also have the same so try to take suggestions if you are making any errors if you are making any kind of uh, creating any kind of issues there you can resolve them before you are going to present that is the need of your practicing isn't it so you can remember all these points in the way of your practicing okay you can review your script you can review all the unnecessary points you can record your presentation listen to it you can present it in front of your friends and also listen to it to correct your mistakes then remember that more you practice the more comfortable you will become isn't it practicing will help you in enhancing your confidence towards that topic the more you practice the more you will become confident enough in projecting that topic so try to practice more don't take it lightly oh i have script so i can just read it i can manage it no if you are doing the presentation practice prepare plan well in advance to have that effective impact on the others they must be able to identify you as an unique among so many presenters there are many presenters in the group but you must look unique among them then how can you become unique with good practice and with good planning now presenting now what are the important things which you all have to remember while presenting your presentation person in charge of the situation while presenting it is your job to make your audience feel comfortable and also engaged with you and the material what you are explaining so creating audience interest attracting your audience is your job as a presenter you must be capable enough to make your audience attract and also build their interest in listening to you that is where you are successful so your key agenda of your presentation should be to grasp the attention to have the interest of the audience in your speech now how is that you are going to make it that you should plan and practice now main maintain eye contact you must be able to maintain eye contact with everyone almost all the audience in the auditorium that eye contact will build the trust and the rapport between the speech speaker and the listener so try to connect try to have eye contact with your audience then be aware of your body posture you must be able to aware of the body posture how you are going to use your body language is it relevant is it good is it professional is it pleasing or is it uh, not attracting someone are you doing something which will offend someone so have a check over your body language and that can be understood through good practice of your presentation in front of the mirror isn't it so try to use your body language in such a way that it is appealing and pleasing not offending someone 
then be enthusiastic about your topic if you yourself are down and if you yourself look pale how is that your audience will get attracted to so you must show up all the enthusiasm all that excitement when you are presenting your topic they your energy must reflect your audience and they must also become so energetic to listen to you so the energy what you give them you will get back isn't it so be enthusiastic and also confident enough while you are presenting then smile don't become stiff don't stand stiff or uh, make a serious face or serious expression until unless it is completely professional presentation you can take a pause you can give a small smile in between your presentations that will really make your presentation very effective and qualitative that small smile can remove that stress over the audience or the seriousness among the audience it's important so remember all these points while you are presenting now slow down your speech we naturally talk faster isn't it while presenting unknowingly we become faster but try to self check in between understand your pace and slow down the pitch of your presentation for making good understanding of your audience then use gestures to emphasize points and move about the space if possible so you can use gestures of your hands legs or smile or your facial expressions to emphasize that seriousness or the topic or the information or the situation you can use gestures then calibrate the volume of your voice that is your voice your pitch must suit the requirement of the situation when it's needed to be at high volume it has to be at high volume when it has to go down and lower your pace you have to do so you must be able to self check your presentation while you are presenting too because the faster you become the audience will not understand if you are too slow they'll get bored so understand the pace level through which the audience is attracted understand know your audience where is that you are go you are able to create that interest try to maintain that rapport such that everyone will listen to you and understand to you then avoid fillers such as uh or we we tend to do this if you forget something we say no this kind of uh mm, don't do this okay avoid fillers make very comfortable and confident statements use simple sentences don't mug up your content try to prepare your content give speech give a talk don't read all these things are very very essential now act as natural and relaxed as possible try to of course everyone will have all that tension all that nervousness in front uh, in them when they are in front of so many people public speaking fear of public speaking but try to hold that fear try to portray your confidence because only when you portray your confidence you will stand unique if you want to be unique leave all that nervousness develop that confidence in you to make yourself build and showcase to the world about the ideas the innovations which you have put forward then dress appropriately this is very very important you must have awareness over your dressing you must be able to identify whether you are going to give a professional talk or just a small talk which is informal or a small formal talk between your colleagues depending on the situation you must be able to dress yourself and present your presentations that is which is very very essential now what are the visual aids now while presenting oral presentations 
audience may get bored listening to the lecture going on you talking so you can make use of the visual aids that is you can make use of the powerpoint presentations while you give the oral presentations or not only ppts you can use charts you can use any kind of tools which will make the gesture of the interest towards your audience now help explain your points act as supporting evidence and add visual interest so while you are giving oral presentation adding visual effect impact will create that audience and it will remain the context of that element there and then so try to put forward that visual impact such that you can attract them more towards your information do not turn your back on the audience never show your back to your audience it look at the visual or block or for example if you are giving ppt you don't need to turn completely back and then talk about it no you must be able to refer like this not instead of turning around back then provide an orientation to the visual whatever visual you have as your aid you must be able to provide proper explanation to that visual aid then highlight what you would like the audience to focus on and make sure you fully explain the information you are highlighting if you are highlighting something in your ppts try to explain it clearly why you have highlighted it why is that you made that point very very important next make your visuals readable and visuals pleasing see that your visuals are readable and also visually pleasing with good colors and with good impact over the things then above all make sure that your visual aids augment what you are saying rather than compete with what you are saying so see that whatever aids you choose in the way of proper presentation oral presentations they must complement your presentation they must be able to comprehend your presentation but they should not contradict your presentation remember this your visual presentations must complement and comprehend your presentation but not com contradict your presentation remember this very clearly it should completely suit and understand and describe what you are trying to fetch project in front of your audience it should not contradict it should not oppose your statement see that you have to plan in such a way now here question and answers how is that you are going to handle with the question and answers during the oral presentations do not underestimate the challenge of running a successful question and answer session when you are presenting orally you must be also ready to face the question and answer session there are audience who may ask you question you must be able to give clear explanation over the answers so prepare well for that question and answers session for that you need to acknowledge the question you must first acknowledge the question of the audience and appreciate for that uh, question for him this polite gesture shows your interest to answer the question next rephrase the question if someone is asking a question to you if you have not understood take it and try to rephrase it and try to answer in the way you want to answer it the important step allows you to make sure you understand the question point 1 you understand the question ensure all audience members clearly hear the question see that all the audience in the aud auditorium has heard to the question phrase the question into the way such that everyone is listening and understanding what is that you are going to answer about then answer the question as clearly and concisely as possible be brief be straightforward and concise in answering your questions then check for comprehension with the questioner and your audience see that you have rightly answered the question they have some question and you are answering something else if it is not matching it looks very clumsy so you must be able to comprehend the question 
properly and answer to your audience. Here, help wanted. What are the help? What is the help you can take from the, you can make your oral presentations effective. That introduction, example should include the topic of the presentations. As you all know, it should see that you should have an attractive introduction with an interesting or amazing fact, an engaging story, a question or other any hooks. You can make, you can take help of all this in the way of your oral presentation. Then main body, what are the specific examples you can use? Effective use of transitions, clear explanations using analogy or stories, an example of internal summary. That means if you're talking about your organization, you can just take off internal example and explain them to that. So these are all the examples which will make your oral presentation more and more effective. Next, conclusion. What are the things you can use here? Variety in conclusion approach. We have many kinds of approaches in the conclusion. You can select some good, beautiful approach for concluding your oral presentation. Then, transition into question and answer session. You must be able to conclude it well and you must be able to summarize it well and then proceed with a transition to the question and answer session. That will help you to conclude your presentation in a very good and effective manner. So, remember all these aspects in the oral presentation. Practice well, plan well and present well because it is one of the most important element to make you reach the goal of your success in your professional life. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.